This week on Maximize Minimal Living, we explore the shallow waters of the coral reefs of the Caribbean at night. And we catch up with old friends, meet some new ones, we see some crazy adaptations, and get a little too close to some scary invaders. So let's dive in. So the first thing I want to do was to give the viewer an idea of what it's like to actually be in the ocean at night, at the surface and at depth. Your whole world is that single beam of light in front of you, unaware of anything just outside of its reach. But there are so many reasons to love the darkness. For one, the normally barren shallows are bustling with life. Species that are normally fairly inactive are out and about moving around, whether that's the balloon pufferfish. the Jesky Squirrelfish, or even this Black Bar Soldierfish. And you even tend to find things you wouldn't normally see during the day. Not only fish, but invertebrates too, like these long spine sea urchins, or the spiny Caribbean lobster, a close relative to the American lobster, but without the claws. It also teaches you to appreciate some of the amazing adaptations that these nocturnal species have, whether it's the incredibly reflective scales to disorient predators, or the massive eyes that allow for maximum light and vision in the pitch black ocean. Some fish, like these glassy eyed snappers, use this reflective sheet at the back of their eye that allows them to actually amplify the light, making their night vision better than most. But maybe the coolest adaptation that we can observe is how fish sleep. Many diurnal fish find holes in which they can spend the night. They cover themselves in a layer of slime to prevent predators from picking up their scent and stay relatively calm and protected. They won't move unless absolutely necessary. This is great because it actually allows divers to get even closer. But it's once you get a little bit deeper that the really cool stuff starts to come out. Whether it's the awesome greater soapfish, which I find kind of looks like a mini coelacanth, or the spiky web burrfish, which is closely related to those balloon puffers we saw at the beginning. But definitely one of the coolest parts of night diving is that you drastically increase your chance of coming across one of the most amazing and smartest animals on the planet. What I thought was a plastic bag was actually a Caribbean octopus, which not only started changing colors for us, but came to say hello. And if you look even closer, you may come across his smaller cousin, these reef squid. They're normally not on their own, but this time, this little guy got to be the center of our attention. They ink, they change colors, they flare their tentacles, just like their larger counterparts around the world, but in a smaller form. But it's only when you get way out in much deeper water where you come across these. Lionfish. These are an invasive species and a voracious predator that cause a lot of damage to the reef community. They also have venom at the base of these feather-like spines on their back, which can cause excruciating pain and in some instances even death. Needless to say, it was time to get out of there. 
And so with that, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next week.